when bolt is rotated then it not only covers the angular displacement but also traverses the linear displacement now it is observed that the linear displacement covered by the bolt is directly proportional to angular displacement produced thus linear displacement is directly proportional to angular displacement that is x is directly proportional to theta or x is equals to some constant into theta here c is equals to x by theta is linear displacement covered by the bolt per unit angular displacement produced in it. This proportionality constant also happens to be the least count of the spherometer for n rotations x is equals to n times pitch while theta is equals to n times 360 degrees substituting these values in relation number one let's see that what do i get as we get c is equals to np divided by n is to 360 degrees n and n will cancel the circular scale of this parameter had 100 divisions and that is why this relation can be rewritten as <coughs> n is equals to p upon 100 multiplied by 360 degree upon 100 the p pitch happens to be in millimeter let's write millimeter unit as well this term in the bracket let's rewrite it again 360 degree by 100 and this happens to be 3.6 degrees as you already know that 360 degrees they correspond to 100 divisions and hence one division will co correspond to 3.6 degrees and that is why the term in bracket could be rewritten as one division so this can very well be equals to p divided by 100 millimeter per division in our case pitch is equals to 1 millimeter and hence the least count of this parameter will be given by c is equals to 1 millimeter divided by 100 divisions and this is equals to 0 0.01 millimeter per division so this is the least count of the spherometer i am using in general if the number of divisions on a circular scale are n then this formula can be rewritten as c is equals to p divided by n thus least count of this parameter equals to pitch upon number of divisions on the circular scale 